Where can I put your clock, Matt? Well, you can give it to me once you've sat down. OK. I have never in my life met such a fidget. <laughs> Non-stop fidgeting. Non-stop fidgeting and constant um, twittering, texting, emailing. Here we go, Kirsty. Please count down. Five, four, three, two. I've As we've it. already established, yep. you're a bit of a fidget. Yes. You must be a nightmare in photo shoots. Yes, I am a nightmare in photo shoots, and I really hate having my photograph taken because it's not natural to smile at a thing. You smile at a person. You smile in response to a smile or to engage a smile. You don't smile at a black box. Can you ever switch off? No. You rush around yep. all over the place. Yeah. You tweet. Mm-hmm. Are you addicted to your phone? I'm not addicted to my phone because I do go days and days and days without tweeting. But when I'm working, if we're ever having to sit around, which the nature of television is that you do sit around quite a lot, then I do have to fidget and tweet and stuff. You get quite passionate and quite cross about some of the tweets that are sent about you. Yeah, well, people are rude. I don't see any need for rudeness. Even when you oppose someone's views in every way, there is no need to be rude. You go around the country... Yep. For your property programmes. Yep. What's your favourite part of the UK? Oh, I don't really have a favourite part. I would say that if you live here and you can afford to go to the Lake District at any point, you should definitely do it. Areas of Dartmoor and Exmoor, which are beautiful. Uh, but it's all this country is amazing. Amazing. We don't appreciate it enough. You live in London? I live in London Monday to Friday because my stepchildren go to school in London. And they come to us on Thursdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. But you go to the country on the weekends? And we're in Devon every weekend. And I would be based in Devon if I could, but circumstances don't allow. How did you get into property? I come from a property nutty family who, whenever a property magazine comes through the letterbox, they leap on it. And someone asked me to find a flat, and I did, and I enjoyed it, and I went on doing it. And then someone wrote about it, and they made it into a television programme. You've been accused of fueling irresponsible property purchases. What do you yes. say to that? That's like accusing Jamie Oliver of fueling obesity. I promote responsible, considered property purchase. Anyone who watches the show would never say that. It's people who just know my name and think I have something to do with property and then say, it's all her fault. Does television presenting come naturally to you? Do you enjoy it? Yes, I do enjoy it. I don't like live audiences. I had to talk to a live audience last night and my knees were shaking so much. I think it was physically visible. But I'm not afraid by cameras. They don't make me nervous and I just get on with doing whatever I'm doing and I'm exactly the same in front of a camera as I am not in front of the camera. Is it true that you're mildly dyslexic? Yes, I come from a family of four dyslexics and possibly my father, we don't know. In your passport... Mm -hmm. It does refer to you, I believe. Yes. Well, you told me earlier. You asked <laughs> and I told you. The yeah. Honourable. The Honourable Castile Sop, yeah. Can you explain this? My father's peer. He's called Lord Hinlip. He has four children. All of them are called the Honourable. Nobody ever uses it. It's just there. It's a thing that exists. I want to clear something up. Yep. What role did you have or do you have advising the Conservatives about housing? I have never advised the Conservatives about housing. I worked with Grant Shapps, who was the shadow and now is the housing minister, on trying to make the process easier. It angers me enormously that it now takes twice as long to get from offer to exchange as it did 20 years ago. And we've got email, bike couriers, faxes. Um, people move house when they're in difficult situations. They are getting married, they're divorced, death, all sorts of things. It shouldn't be as hard as it is. It's hard enough financially. It doesn't need to be hard technically. If David Cameron... Yes. With whom I believe you are on first name terms. Perhaps. Came knocking on your door. Yeah. At any point yep. in the future. Yeah. And said, Kirsty, I want you to take up a role in my government. Would you say yes? I have two children, two stepchildren, two homes, a large family, a very full time job, and a partner with a very full time job. I'd love to help this nation in some way if I could, but right now I don't see how I could. That's almost a politician's answer, isn't it? Now, you've got lots of passions, yep. and one of them is litter. Yes. I, uh, we spend, as a country, £780 million per annum picking up litter. That's not dustbins. That's I can't not... challenge that stuff. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's from um, Keep Britain Tidy. Go onto the Keep Britain Tidy website, and you will see that stat. And it is a disgrace. We should not drop litter. And someone yes, uh, this morning in front of me in the car in front dropped a can out the window. I leapt out of the car, much to my partner's horror, picked up the can, tapped on his window and tried to make him take it back.
What is your message to litterers? Don't be a d- Oh, we'll have to bleep that no, out. No, you can't bleep that. No, no, that's a, that's a, don't toss things out of windows. Okay, yep. now, quickly. Yep. How many schools did you go to? Ten. Why so many? Because I was unhappy and my mother spoiled me and when I said I was unhappy, she took me away. Are you happy now? Very. That. There we are. And that was a short ring for your children. Is that it? That's Is that all it? Over. That's all it takes. We covered quite a lot of ground. We did cover quite a lot of ground. And now the drilling started. Was that exactly five minutes? on cue. That was, that was exactly five, minutes. five minutes. I hope so. It didn't feel that long, did it? No, it went very quickly, Kirsty. Yeah. Lovely did I to talk, see you. And you, did I talk slower than I usually do or faster? I felt you were quite measured. Oh, good. Okay, because I didn't want the clock to panic me.